get our stuff in. A little smallmouth bass right off the start. Little guy just started off. Whoops. I know that the footage is grainy here, and probably not great, but look at that moon out there. That is beautiful. Casting a perfect reflection on the water there. Oh my god. It's gorgeous. Oh, I love Seventh Lake. It's not super remote, but man, is it beautiful. Quite the foggy morning we've woken up to here. I don't think we've woken up to fog like this in a while. Maybe not since Moss Lake last year. It's a bit cold, a little, little sprinkle coming down, but uh, I got a nice little morning fire going, building those embers back up, heating the cast iron pan up. I'm gonna toss some bacon in there, cook some eggs in the grease, and then we're gonna be off to Bug Lake. Excited. Oh, it's so beautiful and mysterious looking. Oh, that's awesome. So we got the fire all doused. Lean to is all cleaned up. Someone left this here, I guess, last time they were here. <laughs> it's funny, we were just laughing recently about a post about a huge grill left out in the woods that someone posted on the ADK Fun Police. And uh, <laughs> here's a grill at the lean to. But you know, I guess whatever. Also, that chair is always here. We're just going to make a quick entry in the logbook. We got all our stuff picked up. We're going to head out. Off to Bug Lake. Definitely a bit of a cold morning here as we're setting out. But uh, hopefully it warms up a bit. We got the canoe all loaded up. The fog's starting to let up a little bit. We're gonna make our way over.
All right. Here we are on the trail to Bug Lake. Just signed into the register box. Got all our stuff here. We're just gonna figure out loads. Put it all on our backs and shoulders and uh, get on moving. We're off. Here we are, made it to Bug Lake. Did a little bit of bushwhacking to cut some distance off of the hike. And uh, I think it was worth it, a little bit of uphill. A little out of breath, but uh, yeah, this looks pristine. Can't wait to fish. One more load of gear. Real nice campsite though. And then this one here is Eagle's Nest Lake. Really excited to fish this one too. I've heard some good things about this. Small, but I, I'm confident. All right, last load of gear. It's really turning into a beautiful, beautiful day out here. Mm. Those fall colors starting to come in. Oh my God, it's gorgeous. Stephanie and I finally had a chance to get out here. We set up our camp on Bug Lake, right a little bit behind us, and we're right now in the canoe here on Eagle's Nest Lake. And we're gonna throw out the Lake Clear Wobblers, troll around a little bit, see if we can find anything. And if we don't have any action here, we'll probably move up to Bug Lake where our camp is, but I really wanted to try this out. It's a beautiful little, I don't know, it's about, it's more like a pond, but it is called Eagle's Nest Lake. Absolutely beautiful out here. Looks perfect for fishing. The water's nice and cold too. Yeah, we're gonna get started. See how it goes.
hey, I think we got a, I think we got a good fish here. Oh no, did it get off? No, he's there. Oh yeah. Oh wow. Oh wow, that's a beautiful fish. Stephanie, I think your line is caught in my line. This hook, this is a crazy hookup. That is a beautiful brook trout right there. Oh man, I wanted to keep him and he's diseased. Oh man. Oh shoot, I'm sorry buddy. Rewet my hands. Oh man, I hope, let me try to show the camera this. There's some kind of worms growing all over his fins. Man, look at those colors though. Oh, that's gorgeous. All right, I hope he swims away because I can't, I can't keep a fish with parasites. Off he goes, awesome. That was a beautiful brook trout. Oh, I didn't check for, I should have checked the markings to see if he was wild or native. Yeah, I guess the video will tell. Oh, that was an amazing brook trout. Wow. It was all I wanted to do was come out here and catch one, and I did. And I think I've got it dialed in, too, a little in the uh, formula here. I got a couple hits on the way through. I wasn't, I thought I was hitting bottom, and I clearly wasn't. So I'm going to get Stephanie rigged up with what I got on here and uh, see if we can get a couple more like that. Maybe one that's healthy. I would love to eat one. I'm not even kidding right now. I think Stephanie's got a fish on while uh, that got while her while her line was sitting trying to get unhooked during all of that. There's a fish on there, isn't there? Mm -hmm. That's insane. All right, maybe we don't have to switch what you've got on. Maybe we just found the spot or the colors. I don't know. Maybe we just found the right colors here in the patterns. Bring it over. Wow, that's a really, really good looking one. That's a really nice sized brookie. Oh, he swallowed it. Is he healthy? No, he's covered in parasites too. What the heck? What the hell? Oh, he, he doesn't have it. He had it wrapped around his mouth. I can get him off good. Uh oh. Yeah. Come on. Oh, damn it. Oh, he unhooked himself. Cool. All right, let me get this out. I almost don't want to let these things touch me. They're disgusting looking like worms. Mm. So there's your brookie though. It's a very nice fish, Stephanie. Nice. But I hope the camera can pick it up. On the tail fins, on the dorsal here, every, every fin is covered with some kind of disgusting like lice and the fins you can see are mottled and torn and ripped although i've heard that that can come from when they're stocked from being in the hatchery i'm not 100 percent sure there's still a lot of white on the bottom fins which i thought gets worn off in the hatchery too so i don't know hopefully this guy revives Yeah. 
Man, that's a shame. I wish I could. I wish I knew whether these were safe to eat or not. But I'm not going to take the chance while we're out here. Let him go. He's in my hands. He hasn't. He's not swimming away. No. Oh boy. Put my cigarette down in the boat for now. Throw it in the garbage when we get back. Oh, there he goes. Awesome. Mission fulfilled. I wanted to come out here and for each of us to catch some brook trout, and now we each have got one. That's spectacular. So I guess it's just those two brook trout for us from Eagle's Nest Lake so far. We trolled around a bit more after those. Nothing really. I think might have each had a couple small bites, but eh, we. I'm real happy with those two though. It's a real shame that they had whatever was going on with their fins there, because I would have loved to have eaten some brook trout tonight with some steak. But, still got a lot of fish in here on Bug Lake to do. It's a much bigger lake, a little deeper. Although I was shocked to see how deep uh, Eagle's Nest Lake was back there. Uh, it was charting 50 feet at the deepest spot I found. And there you can see. This is gorgeous. I love those fall colors that are starting to come in. It's great. Ooh. Hauling that canoe back up here earlier was a task. I, uh, I'll have to show it on video what it's like when I bring it back down. We were both pretty tired, so we kind of hung around camp for a while. Got all settled in. And we're going to try to fish Bug Lake now. I've seen some fish rising while out here, so that looks promising. And I mean, no matter what, we got a couple brookies today, so. <gasps> Gorgeous out here. This is crazy. There are fish rising all over this lake, but we can't seem to get a bite. Trolled up and down it through a bunch of different depths, up and around. It's starting to get a little dark though, so I'm gonna start pushing the boat towards back where our campsite is. Keep trolling along the way and hope maybe we can grab one. Nah, no luck with the fishing out there on Bug Lake. So we came back in as it started getting dark. Kind of got all our stuff situated around here, got all set up. I got a fire going out there. The cast iron's heating up over some coals. We're gonna do some steak up, have some potatoes. It's gonna be great. Do some s'mores later. 
And then I might try to wake up early and do some fishing, depending on how cold it is out there. But uh, I should be able to weather it for a little bit. Maybe get into something before we have to go home. Huh? It's been a great trip, though. Is it? Good. Cook the way you like it. Tastes good. Uh huh. Oh. Nice. I got mine going over here right now. Not too much longer on that. Hey, Stephanie and I just woke up here on a beautiful Sunday. I did not wake up as early as I wanted to to go fishing. I don't know. It's not even like I woke up at 6 and then rolled back over. I legitimately just slept through the night till like 8.30 in the morning here. But we have an absolutely gorgeous morning. A little windy, which might make it tough to fish out there on Bug Lake again. Well... I don't know, it wouldn't be tough to throw spinners or anything like that, but I feel like the late clear wobbler is what gets it done. I just, I don't know, maybe couldn't find the right colors to use for the over there yesterday or the right presentations for the time of night. I don't know. I would really like to, if possible, get out on Eagle's Nest Lake one more time and see if we could pick up a couple more brookies from there because, I mean, that place did seem the most productive. Even though we only pulled two out of there, we missed quite a few hits, so... I feel like they're in there. I don't know, we'll see. I know we also maybe wanted to stop in town, Old Forge, and get something to eat together. So, we'll see where the day takes us and how she feels about everything. But, yeah, probably gonna get some food and uh, some fire going now. Everybody always talks about how hard it is to make pancakes over the actual fire, but uh, I don't know. I mean, not to sound like a braggart or anything, but uh, I get some pretty golden brown perfect pancakes every time out of this cast iron. It's awesome. Uh, we're just doing one little last pass through of our camp here. Making sure we got everything, making sure it's all cleaned up. Fire's been doused out with water and stirred with a stick. We got all our stuff. Huh? Now we got a little bit of a truck out of here. By the way, if anyone was wondering earlier in the video what these things are on our rods, they are supposed to make these float if they ever go overboard. 
after the last incident, I didn't want to take any more chances, so I equipped them with these. It doesn't really get in the way of the fishing too much. I think maybe I felt my line slap against it a couple times, but I was still casting good. We still caught fish, so you can't argue with that. That's Eagle's Nest Lake, like you've seen before. We found the oars to that stashed boat over there, so maybe next trip up here, we won't even bring the canoe. And yeah, now that we've got all our gear down from the upper lake there, we're gonna resort, rejigger, and figure out what we're gonna take. Waves high enough to come up on the dock. Woo! Wow, man. That was crazy, Joe. 